Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Fuki here. Right, we've got a bit of an unusual review today. This is a first for the channel. This is a huge power bolt. When I say huge, I mean this thing is absolutely massive. It's called the Atomic uh, Professional Racing Bolt. I believe it's made by this company here. It was that recent. It's uh, ready to race, ready to run, whatever you want to call it. It's durable unibody hull and it's also water cooled. It's got brushless motors in this as well. Brushless motors, I say that as if it's got two. It's not, it's actually got one. So it's got brushless motor in this. So let's open up the box and see what is inside. As you know, with any other unboxing video that you've seen of mine before, you know you always get the little instruction manuals on how to get everything set up and ready to rock. So I'll be giving that one a read as this is the first bolt that I've reviewed. So I'll be giving this one a, a quick run over. So look at the bow itself. Bit of a beast. We might have to call it the flying custard from now on. I think I'll make a sticker for it. Pass that around up there. And there. And there is the bolt. So nothing much going on on the outside other than the uh, fella in there at the back. We'll just have to open this top bit and install the brushless mold because from what I believe this top off. Why I can't get this top off? And there we go. The motor is here. We have to actually mount it on ourselves and tighten up this grub screw. That's on here, that's onto the shaft. You got your battery port there, or well, you saw your battery connection there. You got your servo there. The ESC on this is actually water cooled, so and the motor is water cooled, so water will come in cold water, go through there, dissipate the heat through the water system, which is a really cool feature. So these things probably get hot with due to the amount of propulsion it's got to do through the water. It's quite a bit of a, a drag force, so I can see why it has to be water cooled. Let's have a look. What else we had Let's put that in the other box? Let's put that up on there for now. Make sure we don't break anything. We've got the transmitter here. So just like any other RC pistol transmitter. Every every feature is pretty much the same on it. That's pretty nice. Also got in a box, which is stuck down. Let's pull this up. Comes with a little stand that you put together, made out of wood. So you slot them together and then you've got a nice little stand to put the bow on, so that's a nice little uh, feature to have with the package. What battery have we got in this thing? Don't have a clue yet because it's not been opened. I knew the first guys to see me open it. Let's do this with one in, this is a bit tricky. I do need to get a tripod set up. Make my life and save you a bit of time, guys. Alright, so we do have a 11.1 volt battery at, rated at 2600 milliamp. It's a pretty beefy battery. We'll probably get some nice uh, performance time out of this. So we'll check that out obviously when we take it out on the lake. Let's see what else we've got in the back of here. We've also got the balance charger. Looks like pretty much most generic uh, balance chargers out there. The balance charger for that. Nice. Is there anything else in the box is there? I believe that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. I was hoping we got something like this. So, Allen keys, a bind key, little wrench, and a couple of little sticky pads. I presume that'll be for the battery so we don't slam it about. We also get a spare propeller, which is uh, nice to have. So, I'll get this thing put together. We'll take it down to the uh, canal. Lake, whatever you want to call it. Oh no, it is a canal because a lake's a sealed water, canal's running water. So we'll take it down there and uh, we'll see what this thing can do. So, catch you out there guys. So we're down here now, the Manchester Ship Canal. Let's get this bad boy on the water.
strong.